Hey everyone, this is Scott with Under the Glow, back again to work on another salvage member. Uh, this crew member is going to be the grenade launcher guy. Uh, in a lot of these games, especially Necromunda, grenade launchers are pretty good, so I definitely wanted to make one to be available for this gang. Um, and the grenade arm fit with the squat body pretty well, so I'm just going to slap it right on there and have that be a starting point for building around. Um, again, I'm kind of using green stuff as putty to uh, be flexible on the angle because I wanted these arms to match up. So I'm just cutting off the hand of this Orlock arm to match up with the sort of fingers that are attached to the grenade launcher already. Uh, which takes a little bit of finagling and, and trimming, but uh, we get there eventually. And once the arms are set, then you have a framework to have everything build off of. So this is why I almost always start with the arms. And uh, from there you can adjust and cut and trim and add as needed uh, to make the guy that you want. Next up, we're going to put the head on this guy. Uh, this is a cool little helmet uh, from a Knight Titan from the game Adeptus Titanicus, um, which coincidentally fits pretty much dead on as a 28 millimeter helmet. Um, I really like the look of it because it has a, a weird sort of cowl around the face mask, and uh, it just looks really interesting, uh, especially on these little squat bodies. So uh, we'll work on that, and we'll end up filling in the back of it with some green stuff a little later on. Now that I have the main body assembled, I want to work on the backpack. Uh, I found this, it's a, I think it's a Nurgle uh, Marine backpack, uh, and it has this really cool container on top, uh, and I thought, well, maybe that's where he keeps his spare grenade shells. Uh, so I wanted to carve this out a little bit so that it'll fit some barrel drums. Uh, which I'm going to take from the Orlock auto guns, uh, which are kind of the same shape, a little bit smaller, but they make sense as canisters for holding grenades. Uh, and I'm going to carve out the interior of this backpack so that two of them fit side by side in that space. Uh, it's a bit tricky. It took a lot of shaving and a lot of back and forth, but ultimately I was very happy with the result and it looks pretty much how I wanted it. So I've said this before in other videos, but I think repurposing pieces to be something that they weren't intended to be is part of what makes converting fun for me, but also just it makes your models look uh, unique. And if that's important to you, and if you want something that looks interesting, but also maybe you haven't seen it before, uh, I think a key part of that is to look at the pieces you have and reimagine that they could be something else. Uh, these are barrel drums for an auto gun, and I said, well, maybe they're holding grenades instead. Grenades don't have to be huge. Uh, they don't have to be the exact shape and size that the grenade launcher is. Um, so. Uh, just keep that in mind when you're working. If you want to make a conversion, kind of take a look at your bits and maybe spread them out on a big table and say, what do I want this guy to be? And then more importantly, the things you're looking at, you can change to be other things. And keeping that in mind when you're working, and if something isn't working how you wanted it, just stop and try something else. So next up we're going to add a few little details. Uh, this little side piece is something like a electronic uh, grenade or some sort. Um, I'm thinking of them as blasting charges, which they would use in the salvage op. Uh, and he's the grenade guy, he's got all the explosives, that's his job. Uh, following that we're going to add a small camera lens, which is the piece is actually like a laser sight that would go on the gun. We're going to add it to the top of his backpack to be um, like a mounted light or camera so that his other crew can see what he sees 
uh, during any sort of uh, operation. Now I'm showing this bit because I want to make a point that it's okay to make mistakes while you're working. Uh, I attached this hammer, which I wanted him to have a uh, close combat weapon, and I was going to add a little strap so that it's sort of hanging from his backpack. And then as I was adding this shoulder plate, realized uh, it's just not going to fit. The two things don't fit together, and I want to use them both. So it's not that I can't use the hammer, it's that I put it on too early. So I need to attach the shoulder pads and then put the hammer on to see where it fits best. Uh, so when you're working on any sort of model, um, anything you make is adjustable and it's okay to pull it off and it's okay to rethink what your idea was and maybe it works a different way and maybe it just doesn't work and you have to cut it. But that's okay. Uh, part of converting is taking a risk to see what happens and how it looks and that doesn't always pay off and sometimes like this I just had to move it to the other side so it wasn't directly in touch with the shoulder pads and it worked out just fine. Knowing that that hammer can't just be floating there, uh, it has to be attached somehow to the backpack. So I wanted to make a little strap, uh, it'd be like a, a belt or leather strap of some sort attached to the backpack wrapping around the handle of the hammer. So it has a little attachment and makes sense why it's hanging there. Uh, that is easily done with rolling out a little bit of green stuff and then using my flat tool to widen it and make it flat so it's more like a, uh, a belt. And uh, small amounts of pressure, push it flat, and then keep it uh, square on the, on the corners. Uh, and then filling in gaps, uh, like usual, making smooth transitions from one piece to another, uh, especially in shoulders and uh, wrists, uh, is important. It just makes your model look clean and, and finished. And then on the top here, again, flattening it out so it looks like that is attached rather than uh, just stuck on there. Uh, so that's our finished guy, our grenadier uh, working with the salvage crew. And I hope you guys liked this build. Uh, there'll be more coming up soon. See you next time.